think they came to see Wings or did they come to see Paul McCartney ex Beatle? I think there's a bit of both, you know, when they first come, but I think uh, they go away having seen Wings. I was very surprised at the age of the, you know, some of the fans. How old were they? I, I, I interviewed some that were 12 years old, 13 years old. They could not have possibly known the, uh, you know, the Beatles during the yeah. day. Mm. Come on, 12 year olds, keep coming. Do you think that Wings is finally getting acceptance, gaining acceptance as a group on its own? Seems to be, yeah. You know, you're also, it seems, just from the outside, gaining acceptance on that. It's about time, isn't it? Yeah. How did you deal with the resentment? I mean, you're, you're an artist, a sensitive person. How did I you took it in my stride, if you want to know the truth. I didn't mind it because I was just beginning, so I was spending more time learning the piano than I was reading my press clippings. So, you know, it's always good a bit of criticism if you like that kind of thing. <laughs> Do you? No. Not particularly, but you know. It must be a lot more fun to be accepted by. by well, I'm having a good time in the group, I must say. This tour has been so much fun, especially on stage. Right, honey? Right, honey. <laughs> oh, is that a nice family picture? That brings up another question. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> He's good, this boy. We've seen him. <laughs> Go on. Usually in a rock and roll context, the old man goes on the road and the old lady stays home, as they this say. Is it. I mean, well, this is it, man. 76, <laughs> time for a change. How do, how do you raise normal children in that kind of atmosphere? Well, I don't know how you na raise normal children in any kind of atmosphere, you know, really. I mean, but um, we just try our best, you know, and they seem pretty normal to me. Like, what do you want to be doing five years from now? Uh, I thought, I used to, when I was about 18, I'd kind of look at these 25-year-old fellas and think, oh, dear me, past it, you know, 25, can't get much older than that, can you? And, of course, when you get to 25, you see 30 as that one, and then when you get to 30, you see 35 as that one, when you get to 34, which I almost, I can't believe it myself, I mean, you know. That's what I almost am. Time marches on. Uh, it's right, Linda. Uh, oh, it's very yeah. right. Very significant. Very significant. Are you surprised at the amount of straight press coverage the tour has gotten? No, Freddie. Not really. <laughs> I thought it was Tony. Tony. Yeah. Oh, Tony. Tony. <laughs> I've seen it. Tie your yellow ribbon. You know my son. Good. Hi. Right. 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 You're looking good. Seen you. You're I've seen looking you. better I've seen than you look in town. You know, but, uh, straight press coverage of your tour. Uh, what about it? Were you surprised by the amount? I mean, it's really extraordinary. I mean, the front page yeah. of all the magazines. It or... sort of started with that thing of, here he is, an ex beatle and ten years later he's coming to play America. Which, funnily enough, I didn't even think about it. You know, I didn't realize it was ten years since I'd played with the Beatles. And I just kind of thought I was coming on tour. So, um, I think that's sort of what's done it. We'll have more of their concert, their interview, or meet the rest of the group. All coming up right after this. Because I was such a total Beatles person, I always resented even the idea of Wings. But after five albums and a very great concert in Seattle, I must admit that it really is a very good band and it makes really good music. Here's more music from Paul and Linda, Denny, Joe, and Jimmy. <laughs> 